if you have a phone and you have a tripod you do not have an excuse literally regardless of the phone you use you can start a youtube channel you can record a youtube video Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nita and it's Amiri. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping back by. So about two years ago, I made a video on how to film with an iPhone. And back then, I was using an iPhone 6S, you know, just a 6S. And first of all, to now, I have a better phone, a better quality. It doesn't matter, guys. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to be showing you guys how I film with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Since I haven't used any other phone, aside from an iPhone to film my YouTube videos, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I know and everything that I do when I want to record a YouTube video on my iPhone. And yeah, let's get into the video. The first tip I'm going to give you is record horizontally do not record vertically if you record like this your video is going to have a huge black bar by the side it's going to look like a youtube short instead of a youtube video and no one wants to watch a video whereby you can't see the full screen you're just seeing vertically except if it's obviously like a short form content like tiktok youtube shorts reels and so on and so forth but for a youtube video please record this way since i upgraded i haven't been using my front camera anymore you guys know in that video in the first one i did where i was using my iphone 6s I use my front camera sometimes. I mostly use my back camera, but you see that mirror right there? You see that mirror right there? That mirror saw me through thick and thin. That was the mirror I was using anytime, and I still do use it anytime I'm using my phone to record. I just keep it in front of me and I set my phone up and then I can see my screen through my mirror in front of me and that was the hack I used for a very long time for over two years I was using that hack I'm recommending filming with your back camera because the front camera is not going to give you that quality that your back camera is going to give you regardless of whatever you think your front camera is never going to give you the quality that your back camera will give you the second tip is to always clean your lens guys like please in fact as a creator in general you have to always clean your lens regardless of if you're taking pictures videos whatever it is you need to clean your lens guys clean your freaking lens i can't overemphasize it it makes a huge difference even if you want to film with your back camera guys clean your lens if you must film with your front camera as well please clean your lens as a trick to a clear video when using your phone so let's actually film with our front camera i'm going to put it on the screen so that you guys can see the difference first of all let's clean our lens as i said it's just that i'm going to be easily distracted by always looking at myself instead of looking straight into the camera you know this is me looking straight into the camera hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel you know it looks more personal than when i say hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel you know i'm actually looking at myself and i'm actually distracted regardless of whatever it doesn't matter it's going to happen it's definitely you can't avoid it you must look at yourself when filming with your front camera and that's fine but if it's too distracting for you and obviously it can be distracting for your audience as well you can easily switch to your back camera and let's clean our lens as well although i can't see myself using my back camera as i can see from my viewfinder it's getting just my head but not my body so now it's getting my body but you know you just have to wing it hold it above slightly above your head or slight like slightly above your head i would say especially if you want to vlog with your phone take like test shots to see what works for you so another tip i'm going to give you is so you want to always film at 4k at 60 fps that's the clearest crispiest you um, quality video quality that you can get so what i do is i go into my settings and scroll over to my camera and then you guys can see it's automatically at 4k at 60 fps but in case yours is not at 4k at 
at 60 fps please put it as 4k at 60 fps i'm not a computer guru some people will tell you um film at 4k at 20 fps but this is what i've been doing and this what this is what really really works for me when you go to your camera settings you go to format and please put it at the high efficiency and not the most compatible just to get a more crisp picture out of it like a more quality video out of your recording i'll also advise to lock your camera so that when you're filming it doesn't switch between cameras while you're filming go to your camera and then when you're recording tap on your screen like hold your screen and you would see an ae slash af lock what this does is that it helps with exposure so you can bring down your exposure take it up to how bright or how low you want your exposure to be so that your lighting doesn't easily change especially if you're filming with natural lighting and the sun comes out and gets dark it will maintain a steady lighting instead of fluctuating it's chilly because you're going to be filming with your back camera and you might not see these things another cool feature that this phone comes with and the reason why i like to record with this phone is because it comes with the cinematic feature and this is a re really really cool feature because it actually blurs out the background so you guys can see everything is blurred and everything at my back is really blurred and really pretty and i love it especially if you want to just focus on yourself and you have a lot of things distracting you it's really good for vlogging it's really good for sit down videos and i just love it overall it's actually really nice you guys can actually see everything in my background with my canon g7x mark 3 and it's a little bit distracting and i wish this camera came with that feature so this is a really good thing especially if you're filming in a place that has a lot of distracting things going on in your background it's really really cool so i would really advise using the cinematic feature another tip i want to give you guys actually if you don't have space on your phone let's say you want to film a scene where you're doing something but you want it sped up instead of waiting till you're editing especially because you might be editing on your phone please put it on time lapse so just put it on time lapse and set your phone and once you're done filming that scene everything is going to be sped up you don't have to do it while editing because guys my biggest problem filming with my phone was my storage space i was filming with um a 32 gig but guys that 32 gig felt like a 16 gig because there's no way like there was no way i couldn't film more than one video but i made it work and you can make it work as well always check your storage space i feel like that's the most important thing because if you don't have storage space you're going to be frustrated so please check your storage space clear your storage before even setting up your phone to record it is really really important yes it's going to be stressful but it's going to be worth it at the end of the day your lighting really matters which brings me to lighting so right now i'm using just natural lighting and this is my little amazon light let me quickly show you guys so this is the light that i'm currently using it's really pretty and i love it this is what i use to film all my videos i don't have the time guys i feel like setting up to film should be one of the most stressful things to do i don't have the patience so i ran to aliexpress actually not even amazon and i got myself this light i'm going to link it in the description i got this light it's been amazing guys like so it comes with this clip you can easily clip it to your phone and film and it's really pretty really cool you can obviously change it you know set the light to how bright or how low you want it to go and if you're vlogging you can just easily keep it this way and vlog and it will make the biggest difference in your video i'm currently not using a mic and i'm looking into investing in a good mic because i got a microphone from aliexpress it's called the road mic but then it's like the wire mic and it's not good i got two and they spoiled within like it didn't even last up to a month so i don't advise that that's just 
kind of like a waste of money so really try to invest in a good microphone because it's really important especially if you're filming with your phone the quality of the sound is not always the best especially the phone my camera has an inbuilt mic so i'm not really worried although it is necessary for me to still invest in a microphone just so that my voice is clearer and crispier and you guys don't hear all the extra sounds and noise that can be very distracting invest in a good microphone or a microphone in general and yeah so i will highly recommend investing in a good microphone and a tripod stand i feel like those are the necessary essential equipments to start a youtube channel with so guys i have have this phone tripod and this is just like an example it could be any type of tripod it doesn't have to be this exact one because I don't have a link to this tripod I got it like in person so this is the tripod that I use for my phone and um, it's not the best I'm not gonna lie um, but obviously it's better than the first ever tripod I had and I also have my camera tripod which I can just easily unscrew this and mount into my camera tripod and it will turn into a phone tripod as well for a sit down video this is actually good even for vlogging you can twist it like this there are lots of tri i mean tripod is not something to look for nowadays instagram stores sell tripod you can get on amazon you can get on aliexpress just read reviews and just you know it, or if you have a tripod in mind already um you can get it so for this tripod you guys know i film like this so my camera always has to stay this way although this I, I mean i put it upside down kind of my phone here is supposed to face here but it doesn't matter you guys get the gist so when i'm filming i could easily set it up like this on the table for a sit down video and it's just going to be this way on the table for a sit down video and you know it's you don't have to go through the hassle that i went through stacking up books putting sand in a container and trying to figure it out and use it as a tripod you don't have to go through all those hassles so i feel like right now please that money you use you spend in clothes bags shoes makeup just take a little bit out of it and invest in a tripod no matter how flimsy at least something that can do something you can work with for the meantime this tripod is not as long they have seen so many tripods on amazon that are so long and so sturdy but yeah so if i'm vlogging my tripod i can you know instead of it staying this way i'll just make it like this and maybe elongate it as well so that it's kind of give me that selfie stick vibe so it's not too close to my face i feel like this is a very good hack especially if you're vlogging you don't want to be you don't want it to be too close and you'll have to stretch your hands this way that's just very stressful i'm doing it this way so you can easily you know make it long and then your hand is like close to your body so yeah that's another hack i wanted to give you guys please don't give yourself excuses pick up your phone pick up your tripod and go and sit down set it up sit down and start filming because you do not have any excuse to why you haven't started your channel so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys found it very helpful especially if you're looking to start a youtube channel also give me a thumbs up leave a comment below if there's something that i miss or some questions that you have that you might need answers to please leave it in the comments also don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one love you stay pretty bye I look so pretty.